All right. So I wanted to do a quick follow-up, a review, if you will, of my Vision HD sports sunglasses I got with the camera. Um, I did the unboxing a couple weeks ago. I got them. And whether I recommend getting them or not. So I basically used them twice. Once just trying them out. And then another time, I had a full day at uh, Bush Gardens, and I got a bunch of videos that I'll link to here in the description. So overall, they worked pretty good. They had some pretty good video quality uh, with the 120, I did it at 1080p, 120 degree uh, wide angle, and it worked pretty good for what I wanted. It's not as good as GoPro, but it's also cheaper. Um, the sound, okay quality, but it was a little low the first time I tried it, so I bumped up the sound. And that was probably a mistake because then on my videos where I do it on the roller coasters, there's a lot of wind noise. Um, but overall, so, so the sound's just kind of so-so. Anyways, little glitch though is that I broke them, which I was hoping not to do. Um, so that's the downside. And uh, you can see how they, they're they broken. Um, I'll get a little closer. Right in the frame here, right uh, near the bridge of the nose, uh, over one of the left, on over the left. And the way that happened was, it was towards the end of the day at Bush Gardens, and I was getting kind of comfortable with them. I had this um, thing on the back so they wouldn't fall off. What is that, like a sports? I had this on, and I'm gonna demonstrate with my other sunglasses. So I had this on, as if I had these on. I had this a little tight, but not tons. I mean, when I went on the coasters, I pulled that tight so they wouldn't come off. It's, it's pretty tight anyways, but I just wanna make sure. Anyways, I had it kinda of loose, but not all the way. And I was getting a little too comfortable with the glasses. I mean, I, all day I was careful to take them off. Look at this. This one broke. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's a different story. Anyways, that's kind of funny. So I just broke these. Um, anyways, so I was careful to take them off like this all day with two hands. Anyways, then towards the evening, I had them on these, and I just took with one hand, I'm stupid, I, I went like this to take them off. So I went off like that. And it, it was just, it was it was not that hard, but it was enough of a like, a, like this, and it just cracked it right there. So they got cracked. Um, anyways, so, great concept. Uh, poor execution as far as the strength of these up here just like in those reviews that I read that I was hoping it wouldn't happen to me it just um, it's just not strong enough and so I'm not sure I'm thinking I'm going to try to glue them back together I could uh, re return them I guess but I don't know I, I'm hoping to, it, it'll glue back together if it doesn't glue back together like that then I'm gonna just glue the lens in, and that that should make it solid enough. So I mean, these were $136. Uh, maybe something like the pivot heads are worth the extra seventy seventy dollars or so. Maybe they're not as as delicate. And there were other versions that looked just like this that were a little bit more, but they seemed to come from the same. They look almost exactly the same. So it's hard to, I, I don't know if their other ones are worth, if they don't break or not, but. Anyways, so can I recommend them? Only if you're really careful with them, but other than that, I probably would say, I don't know, maybe look elsewhere. Um, and if they can get their plastic a little stronger. Cause you gotta be able to take just, you know, I mean, yeah, you're not supposed to take off glasses that way, but come on, you should have a little bit stronger and just popping off so anyways there you have it there's my uh there's my review um
I would say just kind of so-so. I mean, the quality is great, but not the quality of the frames. So, buy them. Only if you're going to be really careful with them, <laughs> which I try to be. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching.